Hi guys, welcome back to more episodes of The X-Files. We are right in the middle of a two-part story with this missing child, this missing girl, Anne Boleyn, um, and a previous case for a woman that's already serving life in prison because they didn't believe her because the evidence all totted up to the fact that she wrote her own suicide note. Uh, Mulder is convinced he understands exactly what's going on here, but he's, he's scarred by the past with his sister and he's attributing it to this now and the fact that he's just lost his mum that makes no sense to him either even though she was dying of a terminal illness she'd already just wrong him it is a little strange to have done it the way that she's done it but it's too late now um the guy's on the verge of a complete mental breakdown here he's he's losing senses to he's usually so good at reading other people situation and working out whether he's being played or whether it's a conspiracy or whatever but th this has blurred everything so I'm, I'm not going to try and figure out what the hell's going on we'll just figure out as we go through it and uh, see where we are at the end of the episode so let's carry on just before I do if you are enjoying the episodes of the X-Files I would appreciate it if you give the uh, video uh, sorry no if you would subscribe to the channel um we'll do the video a bit afterwards <laughs> uh i would very much appreciate it and we will continue on with part two which happens to be episode 11 of season seven were they still dreaming of ice cream and monkey bars a birthday cake and no future but the afternoon or had their innocence been taken along with their lives i want to believe so badly in a truth beyond our own procession of souls in what cannot and will not be destroyed but only waits to be born again at God's behest I never got over the feelings that aroused no nope. he's admitted to all of it Mulder 24 separate murders 24 but he refuses to take blame for Amberlynn Lapierre really I'm talking about your sister I know that's who you're looking for you don't know how badly I want her to be in one of those graves. You're a police psychic. Yeah. My references are on the back. I've gotten some strong hits off this case. I've studied this phenomenon the world over. It, it, mudslides and earthquakes in Uzbekistan. Kids' bodies never found, never accounted for in any other way. Well, you have been through so much in such a short time. The death of your mother and the feelings is brought up for your sister. You're vulnerable right now. You told me that all you wanted was for this to be over. I do. There's nothing more to be done here. Yeah, she's, she can see where this is going with him. That he's going to cling on to this now. These walk-ins, you say they, they come and take the children. Why? In almost every case, the parents had a precognitive image of their child dead. You see them. Do you see Amberlynn Lapierre? Um, I'm on the she fence about this right was. now. No, it's a connection to... There we go. It's a connection to you. Mm -hmm. How's that? A young girl. It happened to... Oh, this is just fading girl. into it. By what I can tell from the tape, he seems to be in a legitimate hypnotic state. Cases on the board are falling off, and... Here, I became suspicious. Taken. Samantha? Suspicious of what? In 30 years with the FBI, I think you'd seen it all. Everything that's preventing Agent Mulder from remembering the truth about what really happened that night. You mean his sister wasn't abducted? Well, his sister definitely went missing in 1973. That's not in dispute. Agent Mulder, however, wasn't regressed until 1989. But there was probably a lot of imagery collecting in his head in those 16 years. And then he comes down here, and he finds the X-Files. They found nothing. Why, Agent Scully, why do you want to bring all this back up now? Someone owes it to Mulder. What? What are you doing? I'm picking up something. It's 3 o'clock in the morning. 
There's someone here. Yeah, the TV is on. No. Me? A visitor. She's here in the room with us. What? She's trying to speak to you. She wants to tell you about your sister. Where she is. Where she okay. Is. I'm telling you. I'm telling you, I never should have listened to you. She was here. She had a message. Please go. I don't know if you know this, but there was a special Treasury Department investigation into Samantha's disappearance. He does. In 1973, I know all about that. Well, I'm in your mother's house, and I found a piece of a document that she burned. And it's signed with the initials CGBS. Here's a great. CGB Spender. Yeah. That he's the man who's done nothing but confound your work, who's come close to killing you. It's a dead end. He's never been of any help, and he's not going to be of any help now. There's nothing here, Harold. It's a decommissioned base. You wrote the name down yourself. Why do you because... care so much about what I feel? Why is this so important to you? I should have grabbed it for you. I like to make myself useful. He always turns up at the most opportune moment, doesn't he? You're sick. Huh. I had an operation. What do you want? I want you to stop looking. You don't You've wanted that since 1973. Because I knew then what I know now. No one's gonna find her. Why not? Because I believe she's dead. No reason to believe otherwise. Where? I lost it, whatever it was. Is this where your father was based? Which house, Harold? Come on, which house? I don't know. You're right. This was the house. How do you know? Look. I told you. In the cold cream. What did I tell you? you? Told me she was here. You didn't say with who. Because yesterday when I spoke to you, you said that the smoking man wasn't involved. Well, it turns out you were right, Scully. He had every reason to call off the hunt for my sister. After her abduction, she was returned to him. And he raised her at the military base, along with his son, Jeffrey Spender. He told me that she was dead. Well, he's a liar. Harold Pillar led me there. He led me right to him. Oh, he led you, Mulder. He led you from the moment that he met you. My son was taken from me. The police need someone to blame. Same. It's not all, Harold. Your history of mental illness. You were institutionalized, diagnosed with schizophrenia. I've got that under control. How am I any different from you? All I want is to find my son. I, I just... I know your sister is out there. Maybe I can prove it to you. You might experience a sudden chill or feel uh, a pressure in your ears that means they're here. I mean, it's been showing us, the viewer, look. Oh no, it's, it's, sold, it's uh, military personnel and wives and soldiers, right, okay. Okay, he's leading you on somewhere. This is trippy, man. How, how far oh. in to go with it? What are you doing? It's here. What is? It was a boy. He led me into this room. Okay, well, how would you have known that was there? Otherwise. It's a diary. I did more tests today, but not the horrible kind. I was awake and they made me lay still while they shine lights in my eyes. They know I hate them, but they don't even care. This is 1979. Sometimes I think my memories were taken by the doctors, but not all of them. I remember faces. I think I had a brother. Oh, fuck with sake. They used to tease me. I hope someday he reads this. And as I wish I could see his face for real. What would you do with that? How do you process that? So it has led him. Sergeant's blood or 1979. What are you talking Okay. The description matches your sister. When did you find this? Mulder, it's almost noon. Her medical examination is normal. Her mental state, it says here she was exhibiting signs of paranoia. 
Evidence of probable self-inflicted abuse. Diagnosis of condition incomplete. Tests unavailable. And he knew. Do you have any our nurses signed her in? You've got to let him follow this now. It's, it's, it's already far enough. I have this powerful feeling, and I can't explain it, but that this is the end of the road. That's what I said. That I've been brought here to learn the truth. What this woman remembers, and she's just going to fade into the past. I thought that was the door. Arbutus Ray? Yes. Are you the same Arbutus Ray that worked as a nurse at the Dominic Savio Memorial Hospital in 1979? Yes, I'm she. Deputy brought her in. She was shaking like a leaf. Wouldn't let anyone touch her but me. So you saw her dead? That night, in her bed. I blinked, and it was gone. gone. She was sleeping as sound as could be. There were men. They came to pick her up late that night. I assumed the one was her father, but he gave me such a chill when he looked at me. <laughs> when I asked him, would he please put out his cigarette? Yeah. But when I took them to her room, she was gone. Same Disappeared thing. out of a locked room. Just vanished. This has been a strange two-part. It started just like a normal case. And he's ended up with possibly a conclusion in a journey's end from Mulder's obsession with this. In danger. And no explanation left behind. Not how I thought we'd see this out with the story of Samantha at all. Oh my god. music none of these were witness to it at all he's okay yeah. he's okay my okay. son yeah. you, you saw my son yes he did he's dead they're all dead Harold yeah no but you have to let him go now Harold he's protected he's in a better place they're all in a better place we both have to let go Harold you're wrong I'm going to find him. He's not ready. Muller, what happened? Are you sure you're all right? I'm fine. I'm glad they've given us that. That's all she wants. Okay, episode 11, the end of our two-parter. Um, and we, we got, like I said, the, the, the whole thing progressed from it all being about Anne Boleyn to it all being about the, the journey's end for Mulder with his sister and a, a, a finite chapter and we got to see Anne Boleyn at the end there I mean that that's as good a, as an explanation as you're going to get with it being the X-Files that it wasn't just a normal physical thing yes she was taken yes she was abducted we know why, we know by who and what it was about. All that's gone, all that's done now as to why that happened. And then when they came back for her, gone. The starlight thing is, um, I don't know. It's, it's the best outcome for having no physical evidence and how no having no conclusion to go there it is that's what happened there they are we found a body whatever that was never ever going to be the way that we're gonna deal with Mulder's sister I don't think um the fact that they found he found her diary and that was heartbreaking at 14 years old writing all of that as to what she was going through what what she was being put through and then finding that little that police report leading to the nurse and her explaining that she saw exactly the same thing. We even had Mulder write down the Air Force base thing the same way as what the parents did with writing the ransom. The only other bit that gets me is with the ransom thing. Why would you 
have it that the parents write that and possibly end up making the parents look as though they're the perpetrators when you're taking in effect the child to starlight and to safety and to be in a better place it's it's um i'm i'm still a little undecided about it i really am but what i am happy about for Mulder is as americans say because it's americans who say this more than anybody that that closure that closes the chapter it closes the book that's the final chapter he will be okay now knowing and as cancer man said his ignorance is what continues to give him his hope the, the man is incapable of telling a single truth without it being wrapped around a web of lies to to always remain for him to be in control of the situation and the story of it so, um, I guess that's it. That is it from Mulder, knowing what happened to Samantha. And that poor guy still doesn't get to see his son because he's actually not ready to be in the place that Mulder has finally accepted. It, it was a good two-part episode. It was just, like I said, there was, it, it moved from the physical to the spiritual to the whatever you want to call that i have no idea <laughs> right i will be back uh with episode 12 next till then if you do want to watch the full length episode check the link in the description that will take you over to patreon you can watch it over there and i will see you for the next installment very soon just before i do if you enjoyed the video i would appreciate a quick thumbs up post your comments down below here and let me know what you thought in particular as to how they've because we've had the story of samantha since day one more or less and it's taken until almost halfway through season seven to get to this point. Let me know what you thought about how they've written this out. Um, and while you're at it, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. I would very much appreciate it. And you will also be notified next time any X-File episode releases. Right then, guys, I'm done. I will see you for the next one. Take care.